Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to rectify the seat of a tap that keeps on dripping after we've changed the seat washer and why it might keep on dripping. Now, before we step in, I would like to ask you to please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and if you want to receive notifications of new videos, remember to click on the bell next to the subscribe button. Before we start, I want to share a little trick with you. It's not a great trick because maybe you already know it or you can guess it quite easily. But it might be useful for someone. If I have a leak in a monoblock like this one, how do I know which is the tap that is failing? The hot water or the cold water. I have two sort of valves. The cold water is under the sink and the shut off valve for the hot water is under the water heater. If I close the cold water valve and the dripping stops, I don't need to go any further. The issue is the cold water tap. The same with the hot water line. But if I close both shut off valves and I still have a leak, it means one of my shut off valves doesn't work. However, even if the shutoff valves are failing, the speed of the dripping should fall when you close a valve. So, the solution is close both valves one at a time and see what happens with the leaking. If it stops dripping or the dripping is less, then that is the valve, that is the tap that is leaking. Okay, let's see our leaking tap now. When we have a, a leaking tap dripping away, usually we change the seat washer and that's it. But other times it keeps on dripping despite we've changed the seat washer. That happens because sometimes we have burrs from cut, pipe cutting get caught inside the seat washer or between the seat washer and the seat. As we can see here. Or bits of soft solder that fall into the pipes. Or debris brought in by the water, like little stones. If we don't get these out, no matter how pretty our washer is, it will get ruined. To avoid this, we have to cut the water and do the following. Then we place a cup over it so it doesn't spill water all over the place. We open the water valve till the gush of water expels all solid residues. In fact, it's a good idea to do this every time we solder water pipes. If we don't see any solids coming out, we must check the seat of the tap. The seat of the tap is usually made of bronze and it's this part here. That's where the rubber washer seals the entry, stops the water coming in. The water comes through the pipes, tries to get into the tap and this rubber washer stops it. To check the seat, we must use a good light and maybe even a magnifying glass. However, we won't be able to see anything like a crack or anything like that because the seat has the same color all over. So it's very difficult to see any crack. So to be able to see a crack, we must scratch the surface to get a clean brass color on all the surface. By contrast, any fissure or crack will look like a dark line or pool. 
To scratch the seat we use this tool. This is a reseating tool or seat reamer. There are many designs as we can see here. Number one should only be used with concave seats. Number two is not easy to keep straight. Number three only has two thread sizes. Number four is for motor injectors. Number five is maybe the best one, although it would be nice if it had a seat guide like number four. In any case, we should get a tool that has different sized cutting heads for 3 8 inch, 1 half inch and 3 quarter inch taps. So, we place our seat reamer inside the tap centered on the tap seat. Then we put this rubber cone in place so it helps to keep the stem straight. With other tools you'll have to screw in a nut. Now we turn the stem and cutting head softly, just enough to get a glossy surface on the seat. Now we will be able to check the seat and any crack will stand out by contrast. As you can see here, if this fissure is small, it will be very easy to fix. But if the crack is very deep or very extended, it's because we have waited too long to fix the leak or we've rectified the seat too many times. In that case, our best option would be to buy a new tap. There is a very good video in Spanish by a colleague, Ariel Rodriguez. For those who believe these big cracks can be repaired with epoxic adhesives. I'm leaving the link in the description. I understand these adhesives don't stick very well if the surfaces aren't very clean. Something quite difficult in such a small space, even if we use hydrochloric acid or other chemicals. I'm really not very sure if this is worth it to repair a tap with hydrochloric acid and so on, a tap that has had a long and happy life. If the fissure can be fixed, we start turning the stem many times, trying not to overdo the pressure and ensuring the stem stays perfectly square to the seat. If we cut into the seat with a crooked reamer, cutting more on one side than the other, the seat washer won't be able to stop water leaking out of our tap and we have to throw that tap away. As soon as the crack can't be seen anymore, or the seat is the color of brass, we reassemble the tap and check if the leak was fixed. Well, that's all folks. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please remember give it a thumbs up, subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell and thanks for watching. Bye bye.